Hi everyone, welcome to Zainal's new PG 2022 information series. In our previous videos, we took you through Andhra Pradesh Government Quota Counseling's uh, eligibility rules, the application process, the certificates that are required, the stipend, bond and fee details, etc. Uh, in this uh, video, we will take you through how to use Zainal to look at the closing ranks and allotments and other details of Andhra Pradesh. You can click on closing ranks and then click on the state Andhra Pradesh and select Andhra Pradesh government quota. This will give you the complete list of seats that are out there available last year. We had always suggested that not, not to look at 2020, even though data is available, the 2020 data will be available only till the next week. So as, so that there's no confusion at later point in time. 2021 is the most relevant data and you will see the complete information of closing ranks of all rounds over here. Uh, round one, round two, round three, round four onwards till round eight because eight sequential rounds happened last year. Whatever you see as closing ranks here are the counseling ranks, which means Andhra Pradesh state counseling ranks. So before you get into this data, first look at this particular uh, link, which will give you what happened last year. You would be looking at 2021 data as of now. So please have a look at what happened in 2021 to correlate. For example, there were eight rounds last year. And each round was termed like phase one or mop up or extended stray or something like that. And upgradation was allowed till the fourth round. Basically from round three to round four, somebody uh, phase three to phase four, a candidate could upgrade. But beyond round four to round five, which was called the mop up, a candidate could not upgrade. But this year there will be a change. Uh, after round two allotment, a candidate cannot hold a round two seat and upgrade to the next round, whatever it is called. And this is based on the notification by DGHS very clearly a month before. So keep this in mind so that you adjust for those factors. Now you have round one, phase one. Uh, we have the different rounds mentioned here in Zainan, which is round one to round eight. Uh, the terms used in uh, AP counseling, for instance, phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. And then round five was called mop up and then so on till stray round. Etc. That is mentioned over here so that you can correlate with the notifications and who was eligible exactly last year for which round, whether fresh registration was possible, choice filling was allowed, upgradation was possible, etc. Everything is available regarding this data. Any query on what happened last year, you can refer to this data. Any query on what is going to happen in 2022, we'll have to know, wait for notifications because always Andhra Pradesh provides these notifications only at the beginning of each round. They don't provide all the rules and regulations prior to the entire round, uh, mop up or any other round happening at the beginning of the counseling. Now, uh, Andhra Pradesh, the quotas that are mentioned, we have mentioned multiple quotas. We have explained that in detail who is eligible for what. You can also see them here on who is eligible for what quota, and you will be able to look at Andhra Pradesh, the data that we have with reference to the quota that you are eligible for. We have made changes here. We have ensured that if you are local, you will clearly get the local seats from the institutes that are local for you. So if you're non-service AU local, you will be eligible for non-service AU local seats as well as non-service unreserved seats over here. So you will click on non-service AU local and non-service unreserved seats. Unreserved seats could be in any institute. AU local seats are in AU region, which you only you are eligible for because you are AU local. Now beyond that, you will also select the category that you belong to. Let's say you belong to BCV category, you are eligible for BCV, Gen and open category seats. In case you uh, are eligible for BCB female category seats, you can also select your, your eligible for female category seats. The one third reservation, you will be selecting open female and BCB female. Now you have the complete list of seats of last year which were available. And now you can select on whatever courses you wish to, we are interested in. If you're interested in general medicine, you will have the complete closing ranks of general medicine. The quota will tell you which quota and uh, uh, under which category how many seats were available will be there in brackets and what is the closing rank. For instance, under non-service local, AU local category, there were one, there was one seat available in round one and it was taken by candidate rank 32. Uh, there's one seat under open female available in round one and it was taken by candidate rank 32. So like you go on, you will be seeing the same things as in uh, add for different seats for different category of seats. You're only interested in, let's say, open gen category. You're only eligible for that. You can click on open gen category. And let's say you're interested in clinical seats. You will be able to filter out on clinical, all clinical seats, and look at all the seats that are available and their closing ranks. Now, uh, in certain, uh, you'll see a shift to, for instance, in Alluri Sita Ramaraju, you see that under non-service local uh, AU uh, category, 
you are you have uh, you had one general medicine seat in round one, but in round two there was one more seat added. Uh, the single general medicine seat seat was taken at rank one seventy two, and two seats closed at rank two seventy seven in round two. So if I click on this, you will get the rank of both the seats. Now all these ranks that we are mentioning is counseling ranks, which is a state merit first ranks. In case you want to change it to need PG ranks, you can always do that. Just click on this toggle, and you will be able to modify that to need PG ranks. So you would see that the exact same uh, seats that uh, you would see you had seen against uh, uh, the ranks of uh, and against the counseling ranks, you can now see them against need PG rank. If you want to filter out any particular institutes, you are interested in the particular institute for general medicine, then you can click on that particular institute and you'll be able to see that those ranks that are available here. Uh, like we mentioned, uh, like we saw earlier, 277 was the closure. And now we are looking at 3610, which is the All India rank of that rank candidate, 267. If you want to filter out for a particular range, I, don't, I want uh, any general medicine seat, but my rank, All India rank is now, let's say 10,000. You can take a broad range of 12, 7,500 to 12,500 and you will be able to see all the seats that close between 7,500 and 12,500. You leave it blank, you will be able to see every seat that close. So these are the seats, general medicine seats that were available last year under NS uh, local category, uh, uh, non-service local AU category. You can also do that for service. In case you are only interested in government institutes, you can filter out on government institutes. No government institutes were taken at this rank. So if you take away the filters, you will have the closing rank. Starting from round one, everything closed at 3,325 in round six is what we, what you get from this information. And you will see that there was, there was no shift beyond these rounds into the other rounds after round two. You can take a call on this based on the uh, shifts uh, in this counseling. We'll also be updating the trends for this count. Beyond this, you have the fee stipend and bond details. The fee stipend and bond details for uh, Andhra Pradesh have been updated. The stipend and bond details alone uh, for private institutes have not been updated. We are working on that. We are trying our level best to write, write information and get this updated. Uh, if you want to look at government institute, you can straight away look at government institute and the fee and stipend and bond details. And uh, you will have to, you can see the stipend in year one, year two, year three, and the seat leaving penalty and bond proposed uh, for in service candidates, etc. There's no bond in the AP for. Uh, Government uh, for uh, non service candidates or all India quota candidates, so you'll see a bond of zero. Similarly, you can filter out on private institutes, uh, and then uh, you can figure out how many what is a uh, course, what is a fee structure in each of these institutes. This is category A, category B, and category uh, C fee structure that you see over here in Andhra Pradesh. These are subject to court orders. Before you going to uh, you uh, look at what each category who is eligible for each category of seats. We also have updated this in the portal. You will be able to see that for government quota, uh, look at the course fee. Uh, and for management quota, you have the private management fee as well as the NRA fee, which is clearly mentioned over here. So uh, have a look at this information. In case this information is useful, please have a look at, uh, please share with others. Uh, throughout the counseling, we'll be updating the entire announcements and events. Every announcement till now has been updated. You, you should have, would have seen this and the upcoming deadlines like Andhra Pradesh uh, closing on 23rd. Everything you'll be able to see this on this portal and plan accordingly. Uh, if this interests you, please subscribe. Uh, you can just uh, once you log in and register, you will have a video on this taking you through the entire features available. Uh, do share it with others if you think it will be useful for others as well. Thank you so much for watching.